Hello from Chinachan.com, this is Mark Chowsi. Today I would like to show you uh, this weapon and I'm going to do a review and test cutting with it. This is the Coastal Norman sword. It's a, it's a type of sword after the Viking sword. So it's actually the Viking sword but it's a late, uh, later developed one. So you can see the guard here. It's actually bigger and longer as compared to the Viking sword. It's short and uh, more compact. Okay. So here's the sword, you can see uh, a typical Viking sword is like, lots of leather, black leather shaft, okay, and the handle is leather as well, very nice leather, and it feels very soft, okay, these uh, silver fittings are pretty sturdy and uh, they do look very tough to me, okay, now let's pull the sword out, da 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 da, okay, so here's the sword, a very very thick blade you can see the blade is so thick that you can put three fingers here see it's three three fingers wide okay so as all the sword alike um, the wider the, the longer and wider the blade the thinner it is and the the uh, uh, narrower the blade the thicker it gets so that's a common thing so I'm expecting a very thinner blade as well and you can see there's a groove here, a folder that runs from here to here, uh, just like all Viking swords. It's very classical and typical as well. The guard here, okay, it's very thin, and uh, it's not what I expect because I I never handled a Viking sword before, so this is my first Viking sword style uh, sword. And actually, um, Coast Steel actually need to do a better job because the guard here actually wobbles a little bit okay not a lot but you can feel it it's moving the pommel okay here feels like very sturdy and you can see here it's a nut cap just like how coast steel secured their other swords as well so it's not pinned okay not hammered down but it's uh, secured by a nut so you can take a vice grip and unscrew the this nut this nut uh, cap here and uh, it'll open up. Okay, the edge on the sword okay comes pretty like other coast steel sword, long sword. So what I mean is that it's sharp but it's not really good. Okay, what I mean is that when you use a cloth, piece of cloth, and you put it, wrap it around like that and you wipe down the edge, you can feel the edge is kind of eating up. so it's like jagged feeling like it's not smooth and you can feel it like when you put the fingers like that it's not smooth so what I did is not to take the whole sword and do the sharpening job again but actually I took the Lansky sharpening stone uh, the finest one and then I took it and put it here eyeballing technique and then you go from here and up like that and up like that and then do the other side all four sides of the edge and then I touch up the blade so all the uh, edge here now is very smooth even you slide the finger across or I, I mean along not across sorry and uh, even you go like that it's very soft and smooth and there's no jagged feeling anymore so by doing that you prevent the blade from getting damaged when you chop some hard object because these uh, rough edge will lead to very bad uh, blade uh, damage or even can dent the blade because it misaligned when it hit on the target. So that's a good mod I did, <laughs> polish up. And I had my experience with the Jade Lion sword from Close Steel that the sword, the edge is not polished well enough. And when I chop into a steel soup can, that thing dent the sword a little bit. So it's really, really bad. Anyway, so now let's do a test of it, okay? Here is my touched up edge. Paper, normal printing paper, 11 uh, inches tall by 8.5, so let's take a look. From the tip of the sword, and here we go. Very sharp, right? The other side, switching the, the other side. Super sharp. Let's shave some paper here. Okay, ready? Shave. See, shave. Very sharp, right? Okay. 
So the sharpness right now is pretty scary. And let's test it on medium target. Medium target, I use cardboard, okay, cardboard. Thick cardboard, uh, come on. Okay, let's try light tap. Okay. No force whatsoever, okay? No force applied. Only dropping the blade lightly. Just dropping the blade lightly. I am not chopping down. You see? It's pretty pretty scary, right? Now, this side, okay, you can see there are tape shiny, right? There's tape here, so it's supposed to be harder to chop. Now let's use a bit of force. As you can see the blade is very uh, thin. So it's supposed to be a very sharp. See? All that. Sharp. One more time. See how sharp that is? Okay. Very sharp, right? Okay. Impressed. Next. Uh, hard target. We have pop can. Okay, let's try to chop it here like that. See if we can cut it in half. Okay, don't move. There we go. Whoa, holy cow. Actually, it did. <laughs> I wasn't using any force on the thing. I was just lightly tapping and it did chop. It opened up but did not chop all the way. Okay, but it, it cuts. Okay, scary enough. And next one. We'll use a soup can, okay? There are two markings here that uh, I did with the rapier, so just make sure you know. Here, let's try the tip to uh, stab into that thing. Okay, lightly. Okay, it went in. Let's try again. Okay, take a look. Doop. Very, very nice. And the tip. No damage to the tip. Great. Okay. So, as you can see, as you can see, um, the blade is durable. And the tip is quite strong as well, okay? no damage to the tip whatsoever and the edge is still sharp nice okay so that's my review of the coastal norman sword and hope you like it uh actually i enjoy this sword a lot because it actually gives me a bit of a feeling with of a chinese sword <laughs> it looks like it so just the guard is different but if the guard is uh shorter and and like that smaller like the normal normal Viking sword, I'm sure that it feels like a Chinese sword in the hand. So actually, pretty good sword, and I uh, like it very much. So hope you like my video. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye bye.